Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, talk about luck. So there's this man in North Carolina he, named Jerry Hicks. He went to a convenience store. On his way in, he saw $20 cash just laying on the ground. So he picked it up, went inside, bought a scratch off. Turns out it was worth a million dollars. Wow. Um, I mean, can you imagine? Talk about luck. Of course, yeah. this would never happen to either of us. No. Never in a million no. years. Yeah. We would do the right thing. We'd say, oh, who lost their $20? Let <laughs> yeah. me take it yeah. to the front counter. Oh, and then they'll like buy the ticket. Yeah, that you, yeah, the, yeah so. the winning ticket. But isn't that like, I mean, think about, you're right, all the like the, the sequence of events, like he mm -hmm. happened to go to the convenience store at that time and then see the $20. I'm like, oh, I'll buy a scratch off with it. Yeah. So anyway, he says he's going to help um, use the money to help his kids and retire. He's a carpenter for 56 years. Yeah. So and that's great news. Now I wonder if somebody's going yeah. to say, you know, I lost twenty dollars. So part at of that gas station yeah. right before would not be something, but yeah, yeah. but good but, for him. Yeah, I mean, good for him. It's a great story. It gives us all hope. <laughs> There's still hope out there. There's still hope for us. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at our local stories on this Monday morning. Albemarle County Fire Rescue says there are no injuries after a weekend fire at an ice cream shop. Firefighters were dispatched to Core Brothers Frozen Custard early Saturday afternoon. Once on scene, they saw smoke showing from the attic. There was also a mulch fire. Crews say they were able to knock out the fire in about 20 minutes. Two employees were in the building and made it out safely. Core Brothers is temporarily closed and the fire is under investigation. The Charlesville Affordable Housing Fund grant program application is now open. The money will help provide financial support for projects working on long-term affordable housing. The housing program manager says housing insecurity is a primary focus. That application closes November 22nd at 5 p.m. All right, well, the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources has rejected two proposed hunting dog regulations. One would have required hounds to wear GPS tracking collars when hunting bears or deer. The other would have required hunters to make reasonable efforts to keep their dogs off private property. The board voted six to three to reject those proposals, but they did approve some other rules earlier this year, including uh, more conservation police officers and enhanced educational efforts. And this is pretty cool just in time for <coughs> Halloween. A letter from the literary giant Edgar Allan Poe is now on display in Richmond just in time for spooky season. The letter is a featured exhibit at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. It was written in 1839 toward the start of his career. The recipient was Washington Irving, another literary icon known for a classic tale of terror. He penned the legend of Sleepy Hollow about the Headless Horseman. I'm sure you've heard of that. In the letter, Poe was seeking advice from Irving about how to advertise his first collection of short stories. You can visit the museum Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5 or Sunday from 11 to five. All right, mm. it feels like Halloween out there. Yeah, it does, especially this morning. We've had uh, light wind, clear skies, so temperatures zip down into the 30s. But as we always tell you, it's not how you start, it's how you're going to finish. It should be a milder afternoon. Plenty of sunshine over the next several days. 63 today. We'll get up to 69 tomorrow. Upper 70s on Wednesday. Of course, Thursday, the big day with Halloween. Look at that temperature. 80 degrees, so great weather for trick-or-treaters. And even a few showers will be possible Friday with another cold front. And then it should be another pleasant uh, fall weekend coming up. 64 on Saturday, 68 Sunday. Don't forget to turn your clocks back one hour before going to bed Saturday night. Daylight saving time ends. And make sure you do put fresh batteries in your smoke detectors. Get that extra hour of sleep. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. You might yeah. be sweating while you're trick-or-treating. You might <laughs> Probably. want to stay in with you. Not a bad idea. It's be warming up out there. Yeah. All right, thank you, David. Yep. Let's take a look at the traffic on this Monday morning. Things are moving smoothly on Route 29 at Rio Road here in Albemarle County. I hope you guys have a great Monday out there. We'll see you again on 29 News at noon.